Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here. I'm back again with another video and we are continuing the series on hidden gems to play during the holiday season and this one is no stranger to the channel if you've been watching me for a while but we have to mention it because it's one of the dopest, most metal, most spooky kind of first person shooters that ever grace the sixth generation of consoles. Well, the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox anyway, but that is of course Capcom's Dark Watch. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Okay, so what can I say about Dark Watch that hasn't been said already? Uh, this game came out and looking at the box here, came out in like 2005. Uh, High Moon Studios was the developer. It was published by Capcom. In this, you play as a gunslinger named Jacob Cross, who's uh, bitten by a vampire while pulling this job. And once that happens, he ends up joining this group uh, be named the Dark Watch. And basically he's tasked with killing the vampire who bit him, uh, I believe before he succumbs to vampirism completely, um, killing this vampire master will save his soul and yada, yada, yada. All you need to know is that as a half vampire or vampire, whatever he is by being bit, you've got a bunch of cool vampiric powers on top of a fantastic arsenal of weapons to dispatch your enemies with. Enemies, of course, consist of zombies and ghouls and skeletons and uh, medusas and all kind of just crazy creatures of the night that you're putting down. Uh, I love the, the sense of movement in this game as a vampire. He's kind of got like this super floaty high double jump and you can just cross great distances in the level like that. It gives you a real sense of mobility and when they start to put a bunch of enemies on screen and you're in these huge areas like uh, towns you'll be in and uh, underground caverns and things like that, cemeteries of course, and so just the gameplay is on point. That's one of the things that, um, that really stands out for me despite the fact that they don't have a lot of modern um, amenities and first person shooters like ADS and things like that, but being a vampire, the vampire health is there and uh, in addition to that, you'll get a uh, vampire sight that'll help you uh, see enemies in dark areas and it'll kind of outline them and things like that. Uh, the double jump, which I've mentioned, uh, you get you get these different like rage powers as well, uh, like silver bullets uh, that'll kill enemies in one shot, things like that. Uh, throughout the game, how you earn your powers is they, it kind of has a karma system. Uh, you'll find people who are on the verge of death and you can either absolve them and save their souls or you can give in to your uh, dark nature and you can feed on them by sucking the blood out of them and depending on what you choose you'll get uh, kind of light and dark powers you know kind of corresponding with that. Graphics wise the graphics on this are fantastic we are looking at this on the original Xbox and even though it doesn't have uh, 480p support on it I mean it still looks really good on modern televisions uh, especially if you're running it through like an Xbox 360 I believe you can play this on the Xbox one as well and looking at this game upscaled it's sharp it's detailed it's beautiful um, yeah if you see this game this is still a game that hasn't jumped up very high in price uh, I paid I want to say five bucks for it yeah I paid 499 for it and it still hovers around the five to ten dollar mark this game is in desperate need of a remaster and hopefully one day we get it or a sequel or something but unfortunately this is just one of those games that kind of passed us by like it came and went and even though everybody loved it Capcom just didn't do anything else with it. Um, so if you see this, definitely, definitely pick it up and add it to your collection. Again, like I said, you can get it on the uh, original Xbox or the PlayStation 2. Not sure about the GameCube, but um, if you find it on the GameCube and you've got a GameCube, definitely grab it. Okay, guys, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. Questions, comments, concerns, threats. What do you guys think about Dark Watch? Have you played it yet? Is this something that's in your backlog? If it's in your backlog, take it out the backlog and put it in tonight. This is definitely, definitely top 
five for me as far as first person shooters in the six generations and maybe top 10 of all time for me so uh but that's that's all i got for this episode if you like this content go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already i'm still approaching 1000 and you'll be glad you did uh that's all i got i do believe that's all i got for you lightsaber samurai out and peace Thank you.